Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY line out for your amplifier. So when I am recording or mixing my guitars, I use the headphone out of my amplifier. So this is just a practice amp, as you can see. And uh, well, what happens is when you plug in a jack to the headphone out of your amplifier, the speaker gets bypassed so you cannot use it as a monitor and uh, well that just sucks so uh, right now I'm going to show you how to make a line out so that you can use your amplifier as a monitor and at the same time plug it in to the mixer okay so let's go all right so these are the components that we are going to use we're going to use an output jack or an output socket and uh, this one is just mono and then you're going to use uh, a 1k ohm resistor and a 10k ohm resistor okay so uh, let's solder it now first we are going to solder the 1k ohm resistor to both terminals of the socket so don't worry there is uh, no positive and negative to resistors so you can put it either way so next we are going to solder in the 10k ohm resistor to the heart of the socket so this one is the ground this one is the heart. So here we are going to solder it. So here is the inside of the amplifier. So we can see two wires. So we have the black and the red one. So the black is the ground and the red is the out okay so always remember that the black is the ground and the red is the out yeah i still need to drill a hole on the back cover of the amplifier so that i can put in this uh, jack oh i guess that this uh, is slick oh man if i put it Oh god, it's gonna be recessed, but I might need to change the cover to something thinner. Anyways, so uh, we are going to connect the 10k ohm resistor to the hot, so that is the red. And then we're going to connect the ground to the black one. So let me get my wires and solder them up. So the back panel is too thick for our plug or jack socket. So we're going to use a thinner wood. Yeah. We'll just take a moment so now we have the back panel cut from a piece of wood and we're gonna drill some holes for the socket and the screws so I used an 8 millimeter drill bit to make a hole on the back panel and I'm just going to put in the washer and the nut Alright, so now we are going to solder in wires to connect to the speaker. So, uh, well, it's a good idea to have a different colored wires just so you won't be confused in connecting the ground and the out to the speakers. But uh, this is all I have, so uh, just gotta have to do with it. So now I have soldered the two wires connecting the speaker and 
the socket. So always remember that the ground is connected to the black wire. Okay, so double check, triple check, quadruple check, check until you can check no more. Because we don't we don't want this to blow up. Okay, so the black wire is connected to the ground. There we go, and then we have this one, the hot wire connected to the red one. Okay, so there we go, it is connected to the red one. Okay, so let's try this bad boy. Okay, so we installed the back panel and now we are going to try it out and plug it in to the mixer and we're going to use uh, our editing software to check if it's working or not. Alright, so now we are going to make the necessary connections. So uh, this one goes to the back, the newly installed line in. Okay, there we go, plugged. And then we are going to put it here on the mixer. Sorry about this, the mask. Okay, there. And then we're gonna get another cable for the guitar. And we'll plug it into the input of the amplifier. And then we're going to connect this uh, plug to the jack of the guitar. So I'm gonna put the camera somewhere. Yeah. Okay, I have made the necessary connections. Now we are going to fire it up. Okay, so it's on. Put in some volume for the guitar. Okay, so as you can see. And then we're gonna turn on our mixer check the levels so here we are at our editing software recording input is there we go oh, adjust the volume of the mixer there we go can you see that Uh, use your uh, headphones for monitoring out of the mixer but uh, this one you know just in case you don't want to just try to record something uh, yeah nothing fancy okay there yeah. and then I'm gonna turn it off Listen to what you recorded. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's working fine, man. So, uh, this project is for use only with amps that are below 50 watts and uh, solid state amps too so you can also try it with higher wattage amplifiers but uh, I'm not really sure about the impedance that you're gonna put so uh, this one is you know practice amps uh, doesn't give too much power out and uh, the resistors that we have installed basically attenuates the signal so that it becomes line level 
and uh, so that's why that's how you can use it as a monitor if you don't want to use it this amplifier as a monitor you can always plug it in the headphone jack so uh, stay safe man peace out